I'm just thinking about naive physics or folk physics. Uh, folk physics and all folk sciences is the set of beliefs that people have about the natural world prior to experimentation or education. You know, so very young people and, and older people as well actually have quite specific and in many cases predictable beliefs about the way the physical world operates. Uh, which are often not correct, you know what I mean? Once you, once you know about science and you know about physics, it's often the case that you find out that, you're, that those beliefs are incorrect. Um, you know, classic examples are things like, you know, heavier objects falling faster than light objects. You know, if you've got two objects in your hands, well, a billiard ball and, uh, I don't know, something light, a ball of crumpled up paper. Intuition kind of tells you that the heavy object will hit the ground first. But we know from experimentation since Galileo that that's not the case. But it wasn't, as I say, as I say it wasn't, that wasn't known until Galileo. It was a hell of a long time for science to not know something as obvious as that. But that's still the same mistake that people make today, you know what I mean? I mean, I, I tested some of my students a few years ago on that. And even, you know, 18, 19 year olds, there was always a few in the bunch would think that heavy objects hit the ground first. And it kind of feels like that. I mean, if, particularly if you're, um, if you're of a mind to have a, a sense of agency, you know what I mean? Because we we also come with a sense of agency of things in the world, people and animals basically, um, having in desires and intentions. And if you're holding a heavy object, it feels like it wants to get to the ground first. You know what I mean? It's a bit like a dog pulling on a lead, and then another dog on the, on the other hand pulling on its lead a little bit less. That's kind of what weight feels like. And if you let those dogs go, sure enough, the dogs that's pulling hardest will get to its destination before the slightly more lackadaisical dog. And, uh, you know, maybe it's that kind of an intuition which is betraying us when we make these mistakes of naive physics. Uh, why am I talking about that though? I can't remember. Well, I suppose just in, in terms of this age, I, yeah, I want to talk a bit more about naive physics actually and thought physics. I find it really interesting. So I might make a few videos about that. But one of the things I'm thinking about is the role of agency within it. The role of agency, this idea that uh, intentionality and desires and wishes and, and mind, in the most general sense, is part of the physical universe. I know it kind of is in all physics, but in naive physics there's a particular... Um, sorry, the wind's picking up onto this little tunnel here. It has a particular understanding in naive physics. Yeah, that'll do on that, I think, right now. I'll, I'll talk more about that, naive physics and folk physics.